Hello again, it's the Geeky Minecrafter, and today's episode we're going to take a look at building a set of piston doors. Uh, I'm sorry, a set of double doors. I'm really tired of having to block off a uh, door every time I come in. Um, as you can see, I drop uh, the equivalent of a Minecraft uh, deadbolt in front of the door. I drop dirt or cobblestone or whatever, and this prevents anybody from being able to follow me in while I'm in here working. However, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bored with this, so I'm going to build a set of double doors down here that uh, will open by pressure plate when I walk up on them, and we'll have a button on the outside to allow it to open uh, to me, but not the mobs. So, one thing I did was I, I did come through here and kind of do a little bit of cleanup here. And I have gone to my crafting table and I've made a couple things that I'm going to need. Uh, let me show you what that is. Let me just make sure we're out here alone. Uh, I'll explain what that is in a minute. Um, okay, so to get started, I have to decide where the doors are going to go. And I, I have built this back a little bit. And as you can see, I'm into the stone, but I do still have dirt over me. I'm going to want to replace this, but for now I've decided that I think I want my doors right there and there. Uh, so I am going to need to dig down just a little bit. So if my doors are going there, I need two down all the way around. And probably these two as well. Let's see. I worked this out in my lab, <laughs> but this is by no means a tutorial. You're, you're basically just going to be watching me produce this. Um, I think I want the two doors right here, so here and here. That means that uh, all the rest of this comes down. So I need this gone, this gone. These two, these two, actually let me give us a little bit more room to work here. I, I'm taking out more stone than I really need to take out, but I, again, I, I just, uh, I'm not what you call a redstone expert, so I'm needing to be able to see what I'm working on. Probably go these two as well. And, you know, just to clear it all out give myself a way to hop back up here. Okay, so basically my my goal is to put a button right here on this stone. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and put this stone on. Uh, put dirt here temporarily and take one of these. Actually, you know what? I I think I want stone there. So let me let me run fetch some of that. My garden is doing really well. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's producing more wheat than I can eat. Uh, stone is back here in decorative stones. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, <laughs> as you can tell from looking in here, I've had another accident. Uh, so I've gone ahead and opened all this up. Um, I've begun uh, organizing a little bit better, and I finished my shelves. I went and raided a village uh, for some of their bookshelves to finish it. I know that's cheating, but gosh dang it, you know, it was just taking so long uh, to get the levels that I needed. So, let's put stone right here. That's where my button's going to be. I'll go ahead and put it there. And let's do, uh, let's do dirt temporarily. And stone right here with a button. Okay, so the, th the theory is I want to be able to press the button and have both doors open at the same time. And in order to do that, I am going to need some redstone. So let's go ahead and get rid of these and get rid of these. Now basically, using my redstone, uh, I'm going to need this channel cut here. Hold on. In fact, this is where, let's see. This is the door. This is going to be the pressure plate. So this has got to dig out. Oops, I went one too far, didn't I? Yep, sure did. Okay. And this is where the pressure plate's going to be. Okay, so 
get up here and show you what I have in mind. So with redstone here, here, and across, this should open both, and it does. Now to get the pressure plates inside to also open both, I'm going to need to extend this redstone under here. So go all the way around. Now this is going to be cut off when I place up stone right here. Uh, and that's, that's pretty cool. Let me see if I can show you that. So first thing I want to do is kill any two block high um, spaces so that I don't get any um, creatures spawning under here. My first trial I didn't do that and I did, <laughs> I did get a skeleton that spawned right underneath this. Um, let's see, you know what, this is this is gonna be visible so let's make this stone. And this stone. Let's bring this stone out. Okay, now I'm not going to be able to block that off. Uh, did I cut that off? Nope, I think we're good. So let me make sure it still works. Yep. Okay, stone here. Stone here. working? Oh, I broke it. Okay, and I think it's it's one of these. I think it's that one. I'm going to have to put a half slab over it, um, which I think I have. Really, I didn't bring the slabs? Oh, good grief. And it's getting dark. Okay. All right, just temporarily, let me just uh, drop this in. Don't want them to be able to get in. Oh, come on, let me in. Uh, do I have any glass? I do. Okay, again. Oh, well. Okay, dirt for right now is, is fine. I, I'll dig it out. I just need to run in here and uh, get in the bed, take a little sleep, and get it where the monsters can't, uh, can't come get me while I'm working on this project. So I never said I was the fastest... Uh, at redstone. Again, I mentioned I'm not a redstone expert. So, let's just take a little sleep, a little snooze. <coughs> All done. And let's go see about finishing this. Forgot where I was going. Okay, while I'm in here, oh my goodness, I left this open. Well, it's a good thing they, uh, good thing they weren't trying to get in. Okay, so a couple of pressure plates. Uh, right here and here. Okay, and I have it so that no matter... Oh, this one's broken. That means it's this little guy right here, isn't it? Huh. Well, they look the same. Let's see what I did wrong. Okay. One. Oh, I broke, I broke both of them. What did I do wrong? You're probably looking at this saying, oh, well, Sine, it's so simple. And I apologize for not seeing it right away. Let's see. Let's do that one there. That one there. Huh. Well, good grief. Well, I have just broken it all together, haven't I? What am I doing wrong? Oh, 
Oh, good grief. It's got to be down here. Oh, for the love of Pete. Okay. Well, as I understand it, and again, I confess, my understanding is not superb, I want to break this line, which means I need a block over this right here. Let's see if that'll do it. See, that did break that line. There. Okay, that was the problem. So I, I have to break that line. I don't want that dirt, so let me go ahead and replace that with stone. Um, let's put that one there. And get rid of this and make that stone. Make sure this still works. Both. Good. Okay. So I broke the line from this piece of redstone to this piece of redstone. I'm going to need a half slab over this. And that's what I had gone in for. So I think uh, I think we're good there. I don't. I can't put one right here. I can put one right there, right? Yes, I can. And that means I can put one right there. I'm gonna need a half slab over this. Oh. Yeah. Half slab right here on this one. I can put this here, put my two block high, uh, did this one, put this here, that means this can fill in, and this can fill in. So let me, let me jump out here, make sure, sweet, okay, put this in. Okay, it's not ideal. Let me go get those, uh, oh, waiting for the door to open all by itself, uh, which I can do with a tripwire. I, I looked at several um, double door uh, tutorials. Um, that would have been awesome. Uh, let's see, can I do this out of stone? Half slab, I can. Sweet. Okay, so the theory here is, as I walk up to these doors, and I'm, I'm going to need to move this path, my OCD's kicking in. Um, as I walk up to these doors, they'll just open and let me out. And I need to do that without breaking that line right there. Oops, get back out of there. So I'm going to do that by putting a half slab here. Really? Am I wrong about that? Let's try it. You know, you everybody out there in YouTube land, I apologize uh, <laughs> if you're screaming at me saying you, you should be doing this. Oh no, that broke it. That Not that one. But maybe this one. Yep. Okay. I didn't need a half slab after all, right? Okay, both work. Yes. Oh. Of course, you have to be a little bit close. You have to be a little bit closer. So let me go ahead and dig this up. Drop this piece of stone in here, and this one here, I think, too, because again, my OCD is going to kick in. Okay. I also want to replace these with glass. I do like being able to see the um, the outside, see what's happening outside. Uh, so let's do uh, let's do stone over here and glass across there and then then I think uh, we can call my door done uh, it's you know again I got some remodeling oh, good grief got some remodeling to do inside oh that stone fell on that pressure plate and that opened it and look it's holding it open Ooh, I wonder if that's a good thing hmm 
Okay, that, that, that may not be a good thing, but we're going to let it go for now. Um, I think I want one more set of glass up there, just so I can see out. But uh, I'm just going to clean this up. That is my double door. One click opens both doors at the same time. No delays. Uh, no repeaters. No redstone torches. Just um, redstone run in a creative way. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's go take a look at what I've done over here. Remember I had an automated cow farm coming in here, dismal failure. And while I was working to um, open this all up, I, something came out of my portal. <laughs> Remember the portal that I had put up there? And what happened was it was, you know, one of those uh, wither skeletons. It, it just came through the portal and started attacking me, so I realized I really had to cover the portal. So what I did was build a structure around my portal uh, so that I could protect it. Now, I didn't think this all the way through. Remember I said, you know, if you walk up on the pressure plate, it holds the door open. That means the withers can get out. So I probably need to reverse this, put the button on the inside and the pressure plates on the outside, uh, which I will probably do, you know, off camera. Um, I'm hoping, though, that there's a, a quick fix, that there's a, a lever that I can put out here that will turn off the pressure plates inside. And if that works, then when I'm not inside, I can set the lock and nothing can get out. So that's a quick look. Let's, let's jump up here, see if we can't get a little better look. That's a quick look at the structure that I built around the portal. It's nothing big. It's nothing, I mean, it is big, but it's nothing uh, architecturally uh, significant. I just used some of the materials that I had, threw this up so that they couldn't come out on me, and then screwed up the, um, the redstone so they can. Uh, so I'm going to get started working out how to put a lock on so I don't have to worry about them walking on a pressure plate and opening the door. Okay, this is the Geeky Minecrafter signing off. Happy mining!